Don't panic. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in today's video, I want to give you guys um, some ideas or something to think about now that you've experienced uh, your first market uh, pullback. A lot of you guys are new to the market uh, based on the comments that I see. You're new to investing. And so seeing an opportunity like this, most people don't think this is an opportunity. They think the market is crashing, they're collapsing. And I'm getting a lot of messages from you guys like, Mr. V, what do I do? My account is all red. I don't know what to do. So I want to specifically talk to you guys and give you guys a strategy that you can actually use moving forward. But before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So you guys have seen the market is uh, pulled back and uh, specifically it's actually in the tech sector. So if you see a lot of tech stocks have actually pulled back from Tesla and just uh, Square, all the big names are pulling back even in the EV space, uh, SPACs are actually pulling back as well. So a lot of you guys have been investing in those and now when you see this pullback, you're panicking because all your liquidity is actually tied up in these in this, uh, positions and you can't take it out and you're now in the red. And if you sell, you're gonna you're gonna you know, lose some money and you don't wanna sell, but you see it keeps dropping. So you're like scratching your head like, what do I do? So um, in this, again, this message is specifically for you. Um, so if you have, uh, an account if you're new to investing what I want you to do is I want you to have at least three accounts if you don't have them already you should have three accounts and I personally have those three accounts I'm not telling you something that I don't have so my first account is my long-term investing account so when I talk about investing I mean I just buy and put in that account and don't even bother. The only time I go there is when I want to put in more money in that account and buy more, constantly buying more. Now that we see a pullback like this, I'll run and see if I have extra cash, I put it in that account and buy more and just let it ride. So I don't panic when I see it goes down because that's how the market works. The market goes in waves. It would go up like we saw the past two months and now it's pulling back, giving opportunity to get back in. So that's what I want you to, to at least start with, have a long term investing account. The second one is I want you to have a swing account. So a swing account would be one where you can buy stocks and hold them for maybe a week, uh, two weeks, a month, or even three months, and then sell it. You're not thinking of long term, like one year, two years, three years. No, this is like, hey, I know this particular stock, it dipped below, let's say 52 week uh, high. You want to go in, you go in, buy it, it squeeze back, you set your price target. As soon as it hits that price target, you take your profit and move on. So that would be what I consider your swing account. And then you have your trading account for those of you that care about day trading. Um, you can then have your trading account, which is separate. And this one, you go in, buy the stock, make profit that day and get out. Most of the stocks you trade in there, you don't even want to associate or hold them overnight or anything. You just buy, sell, and get out and keep your profit. And then the way I do it is in my trading account, when I make profit, I can move some of that money and put it in my swing account, or I can move some of that money and put it in my long-term account. But then I know that I have my capital here for investing. So again, when you just get when you're just studying, you're probably just doing it because hey, you probably want some extra money. So you have to define what you're trying to do. I don't want you to go into a trade thinking you want to swing it and then end up holding long term because you didn't know when to get out and now you're down and you're hoping that it goes back up so you can sell and make some profit. That is not a strategy, guys. I want you to have a game plan once you want you go into a trade. If you are going into a long-term position, absolutely okay. Buy it, put it down and forget it. So for me, like for instance, I do have CCIV. I've been buying more and more because I know that's long-term. I have Tesla, I've been buying, I have Boeing, I've been buying, I mean, Disney, I have a list of stocks that I've been buying, holding long-term. Those I don't really care about. The market would go up and down. If I have extra cash, I keep dumping in those stocks. And then on my swing account, I have other stocks that I'm actually swinging that I think these things are gonna bounce right back. So once I see them bounce back and I get the profit that I want, I sell them, I take that money, then I can look to invest it in my long term or I can look for another opportunity for a swing trade. So that's what I do. So again, just a quick recap here, guys. I want you to be smart with your investing. If you're new to investing, if this whole space is new to you, 
this is probably your very first pullback in the market because for people that started investing in 2020 the market was just crazy everything was going up even if you gave your grandma 500 bucks she invested in the market she would have made profit and so you saw a lot of people think that that was the way the market reacts but to be honest that's not the way the market works so the, when you see corrections like this this is healthy for the market because uh, a lot of companies uh, a lot of stocks have just been blown out of proportion their prices are just insane so this is just like to bring reality back into the equation so if this for you let's say you started investing in 2020 and this is your first time you see a pullback like this this is a great opportunity for anybody that's smart and has been doing this for, for as long as I've been doing it. You know that this is a massive opportunity because you're going to look back at some of the prizes that you see now and be like, and maybe just in six months, who knows? In six months, you're going to look back at these prizes and be like, man, I saw Square go down to like $191, I think. Square just announced that they have a bank. They're starting a bank, whatever. That stock is probably heading towards $400. And so if you missed out on this opportunity, maybe six months from now or 12 months from now, you're going to be beating yourself. Like I saw a square at that price, but I did nothing about it. So I want you guys to really have that mindset So have the mindset of somebody that is across the board. So you have your long-term investment portfolio. You can open that with one of the old school uh, brokerage accounts like Vanguard, Fidelity, TD Ameritrade. You can have that with those companies. And then you can have your swing trade account that you can open with either Weibo. I, I don't really like Robinhood anymore because of the way they, they, they screwed me over. So um, I, I don't really promote them anymore. I you know, took out my affiliate link with Robinhood. I don't really want to associate with them. Um, but Weibo could be one. And then you can find other brokers that can give you that same ability to be able to uh, hold some stuff for a week or two and then sell it again. I want you to find uh, brokers that are uh, commission free. And then I want you to find another one that is uh, your day trading account. You can do both in Weibo if you care. Um, I'm, I'm a Weibo affiliate. You guys know that. So if you go in Weibo, you can create a cash account. You can create a margin account. Um, your cash account, you can use it for your swing trade. And then your margin account, you can use it for day trade. So those are opportunities. So that way, you're not conflicting yourself. You're not holding stocks that you're not supposed to hold. When you buy a stock in your swing account, you know that you're giving it a week or two so that it can bounce and you can make your profit. But when you go in your trading account, you know that this is a one-time thing. I'm going in. As soon as I see some green, I sell it. I get out. I take my profit and I walk away. You're not a greedy savage because the people that are really hurting right now are people that are greedy savages because when you see profit you you do one of two things you keep thinking that it's going to keep going up you don't put in any stop losses or trading stuff to secure some of that profit because you think that you own the market you're too smart if you're a greedy savage your ass is on fire right now because you didn't do the right thing so be smart the only profit that you can count that is your profit is the profit that you've secured. If you haven't secured the profit, don't go around telling people that you're making money in the stock market because the stock market can pull that money from you anytime. Imagine that it took you three, four, five months to build your portfolio to where it is today. And then what happens? It takes about less than a week and all that money disappears out of your portfolio. And then you sit there, you're looking around like, it's going to take you another three to five months to get it back to where it was before. So if you're smart enough, once you get to that point, put some secure measures in place, especially if your account is a swing account. If it's your long-term account, you don't have to worry about anything. You just let it ride because you're thinking 10, 15, 20 years. If you have more money, you put it in that account. But if it's your swing account, secure the profit whenever you get it. If it's your day trading account, get out of there. You tr it's called day trading. So you buy and sell immediately and get out, take your profit and get out. So that's what I wanted to talk to you guys in this video. Again, guys, I hope this is helpful uh, because I know a lot of you guys are just starting out. You're going to make a lot of mistakes. And I'm not, I'm not blaming you for any, for any uh, of those mistakes because I made some of those mistakes myself. But I just want to give you guys some tools that I think or uh, just a mindset, a shift in thinking that can potentially benefit you if you see something like this happen again. So just a recap here, guys, um, in situations like this, 
I want you to make sure that you're distinguishing between your investing account, which is long term, 10, 15, 20 years, your swing account, which is a week, two, a month, or maybe three, four months, and then your day trading account. So it doesn't mean that you have to have all of them. If you're somebody that just care about investing long term, then you have your long term account. That's fine. If you're somebody that is just care about swing trading, you can have your swing trading account. If you're somebody that just care about day trading, you have your day trading account. But if you care about all three, then you, I want you to separate those and not do them in the same account. That way you can easily manage your risk. So that's why I wanted to make sure that you guys have. If you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So that's something that interests you. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. And also, if you are looking to get started with investing or you're looking for another broker, guys, I highly recommend Webo. I'll put the links in the description below. When you sign up and deposit $100, they give you free stocks to get you started. And as always, guys, do your due diligence. Don't be a greedy savage and stay motivated.